I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is what to do when your girlfriend says, we're having too much sex, and you don't agree with her. So I've got an email here from a viewer, and he says, so I've been dating this girl for three months, and everything has been great so far, thanks to your advice and your book. But now she says that we're having too much sex, but actually, no, we don't, because it's only once a week, which is not a lot for me. Feel your pain, brother. We are in our early 20s. She doesn't want to come over to my place anymore because she thinks I want her over only because of sex, which is partly true. I do want to have sex with her, and I'm in love with this girl, and I totally adore her. She said she thinks I only want her for sex, which is not true. I enjoy hanging out with her and doing other things. She says that I'm too touchy and clingy with her. And that tells me that like, there was a chapter in my book where I talk about women are like cats. And you gotta be always got to be cognizant of a woman's body language. Like when you hold hands, and say you take her hand, like if you're walking down the street and she grabs your hand and then you take her hand back and at some point she lets go of your hand, you've got to let her hand go and you've got to wait until she brings her hand back around and wants, wants to hold your hand again. Because if once she lets go of you and then you grab her hand, that's communicating neediness and cleanliness. And even though you might think that's not a really a big deal and that's, that's something that's not an issue, you got to pay attention to that because women are always subtly testing you. Sometimes they'll put their arm around you and you put your arm around them. And after a while, they take their arm away. But the guy continues walking with his arm around her. Because I, I, I'm always watching couples when they're together. And I see this all the time. I'll see a guy walk in and he's got his arm around his girl. And she's just walking with both of her arms down at his side. And he's just completely oblivious to this because he's touching her because he wants her. And so you got to pay attention to those things because it's a small little subtle test of your strength and that's why I always went when I'm with my girl I wait until she initiates touching by bumping into me or taking my hand and then I'll, I'll grow unless I'm walking her across the street or something I'll grab her hand and I'll walk her across the street just be a bike to be a gentleman but most of the time I'll wait until she reaches out and grabs my hand but then when she lets go I let her let go of it and then eventually, a few minutes later, as we're walking along, she'll start bumping into me as we're walking down the street side by side. And you always want to make sure that you walk either slightly in front or side by side with a girl. You don't want to let a girl walk in front of you and let, like, you're... Because whoever walks in front, that's another thing you can watch. That's who's got the power in the relationship. And a lot of times, you'll see men walking behind the woman and just following her lead, especially you see you at the mall. So you'll have the mother, like the mother hen walking around, the husband, and then the kids are behind her in a little line because she totally runs the relationship. And I see this in a lot of, a lot of politicians do this shit. You know, even, uh, even our current president, he does, you'll see video of him, like his wife will have her legs crossed and she totally wears the pants in that family just because I can, you can pick it up by watching the body language. And he'll he'll reach over, kind of like, and touch her, like, oh, please, uh, I hope I'm not bothering you, baby. And he'll touch her on the arm, and she'll just be sitting there like a scowl on her face sometimes. And it's amazing just to, to watch that, and you can pick up and see who's touching who first, who has control of the direction of the relationship. And you can tell that, that she wears the fucking pants in that family. Even though she may say otherwise, the body language communicates something completely different. So it's important to watch these things. And so you've got to be cognizant of body language and, and when and how much she's touching you. And if and that's why she says you're needy and clean. So what's happening is you're basically acting like the woman in the relationship. And you're touching her too much and you're not letting her initiate contact. So you're actually pushing her away and you're, and you're causing her to feel uncomfortable and doubt your masculine core. He says, this really brings me down when she says this. And I guess we're not on the same page. And I say, it's, you're not paying attention to the body language. Go, that's why you need to read my book 10 to 15 times to the point where you could literally recite it to a class if you had to. He says, is she asking for space? And what she's communicating is that you're acting like the woman in the relationship and you need to initiate contact less and let her initiate contact more. And it's always better if she's initiating 70 to 80% of the contact and you initiate 20% of it. 
because if a woman's always chasing you, it's like she can never get enough of you. That's the proper ratio if you want to keep her head over heels in love with you and wanting to see you more. He says, she says she loves me and she loves having sex with me, but it's just too much. And she said that I think about sex too much. And so when a girl says that, it's like, hey, what, what do you, when she says, oh, well, you think about sex too much. Like, baby, well, it's like God made you so fucking hot and so sexy and so desirable. I just can't keep my fucking hands off of you. And so if you don't like having sex and, you know, maybe you should become a lesbian and you should date women or something like that because you're fucking hot and I fucking want you. And you just pull her in and you fucking kiss her. Be the man in the relationship. Love is playful and fun and be playful with her. Like, tease her and mess with her. And in a playful way, make her kind of feel like when she says that, that she's being a little ridiculous about it, which, because it is, and she's testing you in a way, and she's kind of pulling away from you to see how you react to it, and you're getting all butt hurt and bent out of shape, which is communicating more weakness. He said, I tried to explain to her that sex for me is just not intercourse. It's, it's, it's a feeling and that she trusts me in giving herself away completely. That's emotional too, and I would understand all that, but it's not like we have lots of sex. I don't want to push her because I know it will only turn her off. And I say, you're already pushing her by touching her more than she's touching you. Make sure she's doing 70 to 80% of the touching, and you're mostly reciprocating, and you only initiate touching maybe 20% of the time. It will completely change the dynamic in your relationship if you do this. He says, but I'm getting frustrated, and I know if she doesn't want it, I'm not going to get any. you got to break down her barrier slowly over time, dude. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, one step back. And I would say what's happening is you're coming on, and she's pushing you away, and you're not taking a step back and chilling out for a few minutes and then going, making your move a few minutes after that. He says, which is fair enough, but she's my girlfriend. How come she doesn't want it? I'd say it's because you're acting needy and clingy, just like she said. You've got to listen to what she says because she's telling you what you're doing wrong, but you're not paying attention to it. And I'd say because you don't know the material in my book well enough, and that's why you're, you're running into problems here. He says, are we on different levels? I know sex has to be my fault. It doesn't always have to be your fault, dude. But in a relationship, a guy is usually going to initiate it I'd say more of the time, depending on how much in love, the more in love she is with you, the more she's going to want to initiate it too. He says, but I have the feeling that I'm the only one enjoying it. Maybe you're not really good in bed. Maybe that's part of the problem. There's a, a great video series called the Better Sex Video Series, and they've got a lot of great DVDs, and you know, the actors that are in them aren't very attractive, but the techniques are fucking phenomenal. That they'll teach you, and they'll really work. He said, should I back off? Should I give her room? Should I just move on and find someone who will appreciate and love me as I am? Besides, I'm a catch and I shouldn't be wasting my time with girls who have low interest. But it turns out I'm in love with this one and I don't want to leave her. Everything else is perfect and recently she introduced me to her parents and family and we are planning a holiday trip together. And I'd say one of the other things that I want to leave you with here is that one of the reasons why she doesn't want to come over to your house is because... Your, your dates are probably become, have become dull and boring and predictable, and you're doing the same thing over and over again, and so she knows what's going to happen. I had one of my girlfriends one time years ago say that to me because we would go to dinner, and then we'd go right back to my house afterwards, and it was like the same thing. Or I'd, I'd have her come over to my place, and then we would fuck, and because you know, she had a daughter, she would always end up going home. And she came right out and told me, she says, I don't want to know what's going to happen every time. And she says... When I come over, I know exactly what's going to happen. In other words, what she was telling me is that you need to mix it up a little bit and there needs to be more mystery and romance. You need to take me to dinner, maybe get a hotel room, take me somewhere, maybe we have sex in the car someplace and we're fooling around. Don't do the same thing over and over again. There's, I just saw this statistic the other day. The most common place where people have sex is the bedroom and the second most common place is in their car. And so maybe you should go over to her house and like when you drop her off, like maybe you make dinner at her place for her and you romance her in her house or you have sex in the kitchen or you, you got you to gotta break it up. Don't take her to the same restaurant all the time. Don't do the same routine all the time. Maybe have sex in a park somewhere behind some bushes where it's out of sight and it's exciting because what your girlfriend is telling you is that you're touching her too much and you're being needy and clingy and you're, and you're 
doing the same dull, boring routine. And so she always knows what's going to happen. And so it's boring to her. It's not exciting to her anymore. And that's what she's communicating to you. And so if you just make those few adjustments, I'm sure she'll feel com more comfortable and she'll like sex more because it'll be different. It'll be exciting. You know, don't always do the same thing with her all the time. Maybe take her someplace for the weekend and just get a get a hotel room, take her to a city that's got some historic things or maybe a bed and breakfast or something like that where you can get away together for the weekend. It won't cost you a shitload of money. Maybe you can get away for a couple hundred dollars for a great bed and breakfast, especially in the off season. And maybe it's a place that's got historic sites and things that you can go to. Like a place where I love taking my girlfriends is St. Augustine because there's a lot of homes that are bed and breakfast up there that are like two, 300 years old. It's a very charming city. There's a lot of cool things to do, and it's not very expensive to take a girl up there. It's a very romantic city. And, you know, every girlfriend I've taken up there, we have sex a lot when we go up there. And it's fun. So take a trip. Take a weekend getaway. Take her to the beach somewhere or someplace that's close. It's not going to cost you a ton of money. And mix it up a little bit. It's all you got to do. So if you have a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, your challenges, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which is going to be at the top of your screen, and follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version, of my Kindle ebook on my website underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that'll take you to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. And once you get to the download page, if you don't have a Kindle device, all you have to do is there's a button on the right hand side you can click and it will open up a window where you can download a free e reader app for your smartphone, your tablet device, or your computer. Only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app, and only a few more seconds after that to complete the purchase of my book, and you'll be reading it in no time. And I will talk to you soon.